In this lesson, we're gonna look at the nursing mnemonic demyelination. And the reason we're gonna look at it is because it's gonna help you figure out what symptoms a patient with multiple sclerosis may have. Now remember, multiple sclerosis, it's an autoimmune disease and it causes that demyelination of the nerves. The myelin sheath is that covering on the outside of the nerves and MS actually causes this, uh, this covering to erode or demyelinate. It acts as a, like an insulation, so that insulation actually goes away. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this mnemonic to look for the common symptoms of multiple sclerosis. So the first D in demyelination stands for diplopia. It could be double vision. E stands for eye movement, and that eye movement can actually be painful in patients with multiple sclerosis. Next is motor. This can be motor weakness or spasticity, meaning that every time a patient moves, they may feel a bit spastic, uh, or they may have muscle spasms, or they're actually weak. Y stands for nystagmus. So anytime you have a patient that has multiple sclerosis, they may exhibit the sign of nystagmus, which is the basic the eye uh, movement where it goes back and forth. E stands for elevated temperature. Some patients will have a baseline elevation in their temperature that may seem like a fever, but it just doesn't get better. So anytime you see that, be suspicious that multiple sclerosis may be going on, especially if they have these multitudes of symptoms. The next one is L, and it stands for Lermite's Phenomenon. And what that is, is every now and then, patients with multiple sclerosis can get this sudden sensation that they're being shocked. It can actually start at the neck, or can be in the, um, it can be actually in the legs. So anytime you have a patient that experienced this, be suspicious that they may have multiple sclerosis. N stands for neuropathic pain. Now, Neuropathic pain is very, very different than any other types of pain. Oftentimes it feels like this burning sensation. So sometimes you can have patients that just, they report that it feels like this burning, shocking feeling that's going throughout their entire body. This may be a sign that your patient is exhibiting a symptom of multiple sclerosis. A stands for ataxia. Patients with multiple sclerosis can sometimes feel ataxic or they feel like they're about to fall over or they feel unsteady. That may be a sign that you need to investigate further. T stands for talking slurred. So anytime a patient has slurred speech, be suspicious that they may have multiple sclerosis, especially if it's accompanied by any one of these other symptoms. I stands for impotence. In male patients, be suspicious that they may have some sort of nerve conduction issue going on if they're reporting that they're having problems with impotence. O stands for overactive bladder. Remember, there's a lot of sensation going on in terms of nerve conduction, and that's getting messed up because that insulation around all those nerves are being uh, attacked and destroyed. So anytime a patient reports that they have an overactive bladder or they feel like they have to go to the bathroom all the time, that may be an indication that they have multiple sclerosis. N stands for numbness. Now, anytime a patient has multiple sclerosis, remember those nerves are getting, their nerve pathways are getting messed up because their, their immune system is attacking itself. So what we have to do is we have to be on the lookout for numbness. So patients that report numbness in their hands or their fingers or even their feet or anywhere else, take that into consideration when you're looking at any of the other signs or symptoms that they may have. Subscribe and click the little bell so you can be notified when our next nursing mnemonics video comes out. Click the little box below for your free cheat sheet. And did you know we have a free nursing mnemonics course? Click the link in the description below and you can take that course for free. Happy, Happy nursing. nursing.